Hello there, YouTube. This is Zoo Tycooner Steve, welcoming you back to the newest episode of our Southwest Zoo, where today we'll be putting in an exhibit for an oft-requested animal for this series. I didn't know what that word was for a moment. That's okay, I'm going to be fine. Uh, for an oft-requested animal for this series, and that is some bighorn sheep. Apparently, as soon as you say Southwestern Zoo, the demand, nay, nay, the... The siren call, the clarion call, if you will, for bighorn sheep just raises up naturally. So uh, I'm going to give you what you're looking for today and uh, put in this nice little bighorn sheep exhibit here in the northern part of our zoo. North, ironically, the northwest part of our zoo. The exact opposite of the southwest zoo. I just realized that. Funny world. Anyway, uh, what we're going to be focusing on, on in this uh, display, because it is for bighorn sheep, is sort of making a multi-layered exhibit. Uh, so it's going to be mostly outside, but we're going to be putting in a whole bunch of ramps and sort of faux mountains and stuff uh, for our sheep to climb up. And so you're going to see we're going to be using these terrarium walls from the uh, set of designs, Sophie and Rubens. Again, links to everything. Uh, I believe there's a direct link to Sophie and Rubens designs in the box below. If not, uh, Zoo Tycoon 2 download wiki, like I always recommend. We're going to be putting in these... Uh, uh, let's, let's just lay down these invisible paths here. The reason I'm laying down the invisible paths is so when I put the uh, elevated paths over them to simulate our little mountainsides for our bighorned, uh, bighorn sheep, I don't want the ground to be dug in because it thinks I've put this too low, which can happen. If you've watched my videos, you've seen it happen many, many times, so let's try to avoid that here. Um, let's go ahead and make this type 1. And you can see it's still digging down a little bit if you look there, but I've, I've kind of planned for that in the actual exhibit, so... Put a little thought into this one. Hopefully we don't have any major issues. Let's take this across here. Just kind of creating like a three-level thing, if I can. There we are. Using the beige building set, again, for moving Sophie's designs right here to fill this out. Yes, yes. So far it's working like I planned it in my head. And we'll put a big wall in the back too. Okay. Gonna do, do, do. Just kind of use these terrarium walls to make it a faux, faux rocky area. Like so. Just fill it up as much as possible. Like this. Yes, yes. It's coming together swimmingly. Swimmingly, I say. And I'm going to use this large chain link fence because, one, I've used this earlier in the zoo and it's going to tie it together. And also, I feel like the uh, bighorn sheep, since they're kind of a jumpy animal, would be able to jump off our little uh, hill here and uh, attack our, our zoo patrons. And we don't want uh, wild animals uh, running around giving everyone headbutts. They're not as fun as it sounds like, even though the word does include uh, the, the, the phrase headbutt. Not as fun as you might think. Oh, okay, so we just put the borders in here to the beige so it kind of blends in better. Um, I think the beige, yeah, let's do the beige. Okay. And we'll want to wrap that around there as well. So let's go ahead and switch these guys out. So we can put these large faux walls here. Um. Not 100% sure what I'm going to do with the uh, ramp there. Might have to give that a think for a second. Mm -hmm. uh. Alright, let's go ahead and I'm going to change the walls inside here uh, to these brown ones so it looks like a stable. Uh, because you're not going to be able to see that from the guest area, so I just want to kind of get this in the right theming for our zookeeper area as we make some little uh, little stables for our bighorn sheep. And we're going to have a little walkway there for our zookeepers and put a gate in so we can control whether they go in or out. Very good. Very nice. Um, let's go ahead and just put some of the terrarium walls back here to help complete the illusion. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to get rid of the background there. Like so. There we go. That works. That works. We just reversed it, then we could lay it on the flat ground behind it. Perfect! I know what I'm doing. I'm not making this up as I go along. What makes you say that? Um, 
put in our equipment for our zookeepers. So we've got a little, little lab area, a little working area. Throw down some hay, so it looks like it's comfy for our sheeps. And we'll have to put the roof there. Line it with brown. And now let's go ahead and also I want to extend a little roof out here. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can put more of these terrarium walls up here. And that way it's going to give the illusion, even though our, uh, our uh, sheep can't walk up to that area, it's going to make it look like it's a little bit higher. And we'll just lay down those hanging things there so it doesn't look awkward from the back side. Uh, terrarium wall up there. And so that should make it look like kind of a three-layered little mountainous butte for them to walk up on. Uh, I guess we should take uh, some time to look at exactly what the bighorn sheep actually need to make them happy. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch this over to hot desert instead of the darker dirt I used to map things out. I think I'm going to put the little kopi up there, so hopefully they'll climb all the way up on that, and then Klaus will climb up on the kopi uh, to make it look pretty good, in theory. Drop down some water and food dishes inside, so they're prompted to go in there. And now we're obviously going to want to put some of these large sandy rocks. Now let's get a really big one for the back corner, like that. And we're going to use that area up top to drop some of these little guys. I'm just going to bring things out. A little bit of... Don't want to over uh, do it with the plantation since these guys are supposed to be in a desert area. But definitely want to put some of these aloe veras and the octillaries and everything else we've been using in the zoo to help flesh it out. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see, what kind of fence can we use here? for our little roundabout area. I think this is going to work because it bends. Yes, that's great. And put a Joshua tree in the middle. And what should we put in the sides here? Um, that's too much. That'll work. And since we've got an open area here, I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to put in a bathroom towards the back. Because uh, the only other bathroom we have was at the very front of the zoo. Like, right in front of, uh, right in front of the prong back side of the pronghorn exhibit. So let's get this fixed. You know what? I just saw this, and it's bugging me. Let's go ahead and sort of fix their greater roadrunner exhibit. Oh, no! <sighs> I'll fix that off camera. I wanted to put a pathway on the Greater Roadrunner exhibit there so our zookeepers could get into it. Um, here's a question. Does this work? No, it does not. All right, we'll actually have to build a building around it then. So let's get that going. Like so and like so. Uh, yes, yes. And we'll have to move this slightly out of the way here. And let's create a pathway for our zookeepers. Like that. And we'll put a little fence there and a little gate so only the zookeepers can get through. <laughs> Guess we need to actually put in bathroom stuff in our bathroom. That's probably going to help it. So let's put some block toilets down. Put a little faux wall there. And we'll even have it have a roof. View. There. Do, 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 do. Where are my signs and my lives? I think we can just put the letters here. It's going to work fine since we have that beige background to it. Toilets, plural, because we have more than one. Yeah, let's, let's hang a little something here so the doorways don't look so open wide like I, they tend to. Uh, where are the little hangy ones? I want the little hangy ones. Oh, why we're here. Go ahead and put in some benches and those trash cans. Trash can, trash can. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Where's my signs? 
You know what? Let's just steal the uh, water fountains from here. And the ATM also from there. And even the signs. Ugh. Well, I can grab the sinks. The signs, for some reason, it's not letting me select them. Grab the sinks, throw the sinks down. I wish there was a mirror you could put on the wall. There probably is, and I just haven't discovered it yet. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little brush and bucket there next to our stables. So it looks like we're cleaning it. Okay. And we'll, how do we want to do the pathway? I think we want to loop it around like so. And we can use this extra area here to put in the signage for our bighorn sheeps. I think it'll work right here, because you'll still be able to see them climbing on the top of that uh, little hill we made for them. So let's get this made up real quick. And blue letters, because I like the blue letters. Sheep. Done. Nailed it. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to put Big Horn up top here. Uh -huh. B I G H O R. Please let it fit. Please let it fit. Please let it fit. Please let it. Ah, oh, it didn't quite fit. Okay, there's a little bit of wiggle room. I might be able to do this. Ah, oh, nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, what else? What else? Let's take some of these crystal tape bushes up front. Just to kind of better fill in that area. A little rock there, a little rock here. Here a rock, there a rock, everywhere a rock, rock. Sue Tycooner had a big on sheep exhibit. E-I-E-I-O. I guess I should put some sheep in it. Drop these guys here, here. Uh, you're going to be the sheep handler, so let me mark off all your area. All right, time for a walkthrough, starting again at our bluntly interest area, just because I love showing it off so much. Uh, not really because of the work I did, but because of these awesome Mexican buildings that somebody else did. A lot of work. I'm grateful for that. Uh, so, say you're a big, big horn sheep enthusiast, you would obviously continue down this pathway, diverting neither left nor right. Oh, you can see one of them's already climbed up on the top of the hill. That is amazing. Fantastic. Uh, so let's keep going around here. You could obviously go to the right to see our bobcats, but we are big horn sheep, big time enthusiasts. So, uh, yeah, you can see some walking around on the ground. Ah, uh -huh. uh, very good. Yep, and there's one on top of the mountain. Very good. Yes, and there's a slow bird flying in the sky over there. Ignoring that, um, there we go. You can see here's our little three tiered area. Unfortunately, none of them are walking on that ridge there. Um, it's kind of good news, because I actually placed one on that ridge there, uh, just to make sure it was working, and that means at least one of them got down, and it's one of these guys. Maybe it's the dude right there at the salt lick. No way of knowing. But anyway, let's look at what we're all really here for. Uh, the toilets. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Standard, kind of well built in, but I only had a little amount of space, so I'm going to live with it, and instead I'm going to go into the zookeeper area here and make a hard left into the stable area. Let's see if anyone's still hanging out in the stables, or if they've all left. Um, again, I put one in the stables. Oh, I think there's one there. No, that's just a thing of hay. So, oh, I think it switched stables, because I think I see it there on the left. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, I should mention the bighorn sheep. Those are from the uh, Snow Leo, or the Z... T-A-B-C, or whatever it is. It's from the Artiodactyla pack. It's uh, fairly easy to find. Again, if you don't have it, just uh, look it up on the Zoo Tycoon 2 download wiki. Uh, link in the description box below. And there you go. You can see that they're walking up the ramp, going into that wonderful tiered area. So they are being well-motivated to go up here and eat the hay from the pallet. That's why you want to put the pallet there to sort of trigger off the, uh, the AI of all your creatures. And he's coming down off his mountain. So you can see they can clearly go up and down all of their little hills and everything and be happy, happy bighorn sheep. And in theory, they would also climb on top of that little kopi there. But uh, unfortunately, they haven't done that yet. Uh, maybe they'll need shelter soon enough and that'll happen. No way of knowing. It's the, it's the theory. It's the essence of chaos. You know, T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. It wants to hunt. 
Uh, go inside, go inside. I just want to see if I can't go around and catch one of, uh, see what they look like uh, walking on that, uh, the little structure, the three-tiered structure is what I called it earlier. I'll just call it that again. Walking through here, and we'll make a hard right. And let's see if, of course, they're probably down by now. Yeah, okay, of course, they've left it by now. But he saw them up there. You know you know what's going on. You know what the what it is. Oh, you can see them climbing down the ramp. Actually, one of them went to sleep on the ramp. So, uh, But anyway, that was our big horn sheep exhibit. Um, fortunately for everyone that requested it, I was planning it all along. So uh, your, your wants and mine are slowly merging together. We've, we're, we're like a couple that's been together too long. Uh, <laughs> but unfortunately, we don't have too much longer with this, uh, with this zoo. We've got this wonderful big horn sheep exhibit and just a little tiny area left here in the northeast corner that we're going to be working on next time. Uh, so if you want to see that next time, uh, what I would do is I would click the subscribe button because that's going to, you know, let you stay with my channel. And then you're also going to want to click that little bell button because that's going to let you know when that next little thing comes out. Of course, if you like this video, you can also like the actual video by clicking the like button. I'm not trying to say anything, but like the like button. Uh, anyway, this is Zoo Tycoon Steve thanking you for joining me today, and you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.